Hello friends, this is Road to IIT and today we are going to learn uh, one of the most important rule in, for JWE Mage and Advanced. This rule is known as Leibniz rule or sometimes it, it is also known as Newton Leibniz rule. Now see this is a very important rule. Uh, if you check out the previous year's JWE Mage and Advanced paper you will find out the use of this particular rule in each and every paper especially in advanced question paper okay so what this rule uh, is for and what this rule states so see there is a Leibniz rule and what it says uh, first of all when we are going to use this rule we are going to use this rule whenever we have to differentiate an Definite integration. See, whenever you see a uh, differentiation with integration, but it's compulsory in definite. That means there is a no particular limits, no limits are given. Then differentiation integration gets cancelled out, and we left with the function. But if there is a definite integration, that means a finite integration with a limits, then and we have to differentiate that uh, particular integration then the answer directly given by this Leibniz rule okay so this is a very important rule see here you can see a function u of uh, integration of u of x to v of x f of x comma t dt so this is the integration and we have to find out the uh, differentiation of this particular integration so we cannot cancel out this differentiation integration because it's a because it is a definite integration with a variable limits here yeah, limits are variable v of x and u of x are variables so for that this particular rule is applied so what is the formula what this rule says that the d by dx of integration u of x to v of x f of x comma t dt is equals to f of x comma v of x into dv by dx minus f of x comma u of x du by dx plus integration u of x vx del by del x f of x comma t dt now what this means this simply means you just have to put upper limit in the function so the upper limit is v of x i just put that in the function here dt is given that means variable is t so at the place of t i put v of x that means f of x comma v of x then the differentiation of the upper limit that means d by dx of v minus lower limit in the function that is f of x comma u of x into differentiation of lower limit that means d by dx of u plus partial differentiation of the function and its integration that means integration of u of x v of x del by del x of f of x comma t dt and this part in most of the cases it becomes zero because whenever we are using partial differentiation so if we are uh, differentiating with respect to t then we have to keep x as a constant and if we are differentiating with respect to x we have to keep t constant most of the cases this part would be zero so we we'll just left with this and what this says this says a differentiation uh, of a finite integration means the upper limits upper limits differentiation into the upper limit in the function that means see f of x comma v of x into the differentiation of upper limit minus lower limit in the function and differentiation of lower limit that's my answer and this is a Leibniz rule uh, this rule this particular rule is can be asked in the examination directly so that means you can uh, have the questions directly by differentiation of this particular integration or this can be used in uh, application of derivative application of integration also in the use of the function chapter there are many uses of this rule so please remember what it say uh, upper limit in the function into the differentiation of upper limit minus lower limit in the function into differentiation of lower limit that's it uh, the, this part this partial derivative part is almost going to be zero now i'm going to tell you one to two examples so you will get the idea okay <coughs> sorry so this is one of the example 
what they say d by dx of integration sin x to cos x cos of hyperbolic t square dt now see i tell you at that time that the upper limit in the function here t is variable so cos hyperbolic upper limit that is cos so cos hyperbolic of cos square x into d by dx of upper limit that is cos x minus uh, lower limit into the function so cos hyperbolic of sin square x into d by dx of lower limit plus integration of sin x to cos x del by del x of cos hyperbolic t square dt now see if i am differentiating if i heard i am turning the partial differentiation with respect to x that means t must be constant so it becomes zero and you will see it's zero here okay so at almost cases this becomes zero now we just have to simplify this cos hyperbolic of cos square x uh, cos x differentiation is minus sin x minus cos hyperbolic of sin square x sin x differentiation is cos x now just simplify this and uh, this is my final answer minus cos hyperbolic of cos square x into sin x minus cos hyperbolic of sin square x into cos x it's very easy again i am going to tell you what we have to do uh, upper limit into the function into differentiation of upper limit upper limit this upper limit into the function and differentiation of cos x that is minus sin x then minus lower limit into the function and d by dx of lower limit okay if sometimes the lower limit or upper limit may be constant then its differentiation is zero okay that we will see in the next sum let's see what we have here yeah. the value of the function f of x is 1 plus x plus integration of 1 to x ln square t plus 2 ln t dt where f dash of x we have to find out the value of f dash of x where f of x is given now uh, this is a direct question so see once differentiation is 0 x differentiation is 1 we have 1 here sorry this is the function f of x is equal to 1 plus x plus integration 1 to x ln square t plus 2 ln t dt okay now what we have to do see we have here f dash of x this is f dash of x okay now once differentiation is 0 x differentiation is 1 i have written in here now upper limit in the function that means ln square x plus 2 ln x ln square x plus 2 ln x into this whole bracket multiply by differentiation of upper limit that means differentiation of x that is 1 minus lower limit into the function and differentiation of lower limit but here lower limit is 1 so differentiation of 1 is 0 so that part whole part becomes 0 so don't need to write so this is my final answer 1 plus ln square x plus 2 ln x easy very easy but still a very less number of students know about this formula okay you have to keep your eyes open and know when to use this particular formula okay this is a very important when to use this formula let's see one more sum based on that we have f of t here it says ln t then d by dx of integration x square to x cube f of t dt now just put ln t here okay so d by dx of integration x square to x cube f of t dt that means upper limit into the function that means f of x cube into differentiation of upper limit that means x cube differentiation that is 3x square then minus lower limit into the function that is f of x square into differentiation of lower limit that is 2x now f of x is ln t that means f of x cube it's ln x cube into 3x square minus f of x square it's ln x square into 2x now just simplify this 3 comes here so 3 into 3 that is 9 x square ln x minus similarly 2 comes here and 2 into 2 that is 4 x ln x here ln x gets common out x gets common out so we left with x ln x 9x minus 4 the simplification is very simple simple but the most important thing is to know the formula so keep uh, remembering this formula this is a very important formula uh, and keep your eyes open when to use this formula okay this formula sometimes known as newton leibniz formula sometimes only leibniz formula okay again i am going to tell you d by dx of integration u of x v of x f of x comma t dt that means upper limit in the function into the differentiation of upper limit minus lower limit in the function into differentiation of lower limit plus this 
partial differentiation. In 99% cases in JEE main or advanced, this part becomes zero. Okay, so you don't need to worry about this part. You just need to study this part. Okay, so this is all about today's video. Uh, keep watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.